Doris Bell was born in Little Rock, Arkansas, where she was raised by her loving parents. Doris attended local high schools and went on to attend college at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. It was during this time she met the love of her life, a star basketball player at Philander Smith College named Carter Bell. Carter and Doris were married, and Doris took a job at the Methodist Children's Home in Little Rock, where she was the director of daycare services. She also served as a parent coordinator for the Head Start program. But Doris felt an inner calling for other opportunities, leading her to apply for a job at Goodwill. So I went and I talked with my husband about it. And my husband and I have been together 54 years now. So, you know, we were pretty close. So I went back and I talked with him about it. And he said, well, we didn't have a, a huge income, anything. You know, I said, but it just it seems like something that I'd like to do. And he said, well, you know, we've always managed. So if you want to do it, you just go on and do it. And don't worry about the money or anything like that. So just, just take whatever, you know, if they have whatever they offer you. And, and, um, and if it's something that you think you're going to enjoy. Goodwill offered her the job in the job activities department with her first group of clients coming from the Alexander Human Development Center with severe disabilities. Doris was up for the task and was successful with her very first group and continued to flourish for decades. Doris continued to be promoted within Goodwill with the support and admiration of her supervisors and colleagues. Doris was a staunch supporter of Goodwill's mission, and she's always willing to share why. I'm here because I want to be here, and I think that needs to be stressed, and I think I never thought when I came here back in 1978 that, uh, that I would still be walking through Goodwill's doors every morning and greeting people and how are you today and uh, what can we do for you? Uh, do you, what, what do you need? Tell us about yourself. And then I find myself reaching out to all of them, not only to our participants who are here, but we work as a team. So I also have the opportunity to reach out to the staff and work with them and uh, have meetings and conversations as to how we can successfully work with some of the most difficult people that we have here. The common thread that uh, runs through the people that we deal with on a daily basis is just simply having someone to take the time to listen and as I said, to take an interest in them. And when you let them know that uh, we're gonna be here, uh, some of them have had so many disappointments and they've had people to even pretend to care for them. But when they come to Goodwill Industries, they get uh, genuine care, uh, the, the, the kind that, uh, that causes us to continue to want to be here. After 37 years at Goodwill, Doris decided it was time to retire and enjoy life with her husband of over 55 years, two sons, two grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. But her impact with Goodwill will never be forgotten, and she often talks to her husband looking back at her years with the company. So now we look back as husband and wife, we look back on that as to where we are today as a result of my involvement with Goodwill. And we compare that with, with where we were it, back when they offered me that job. And he said, look what Goodwill has done for us. He said, and you, you were wondering, well, how are we gonna make it? I can't make it on that salary. He said, look where your salary is today. And look how, once you got your foot in the door, he said, it was just like Johnny Taylor saying to you, don't worry about that. You know, you just take this. And then as if to say, let me worry about it. 
I'd like to say that I have uh, enjoyed every minute, even through, you know we've had trials and tribulations because that goes along with this kind of, any kind of work you're doing. But uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it has just been a privilege, I think, and if you don't mind me saying, and a blessing.